Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. A lot of stories have actually happened this past weekend, so all those stories will be time marked down below for all of you guys. Let's hop right into our first story though, involving Mo TV. I'll talk about that in the back half of this first story. But first off, thanks to Lord Helix. He's actually a CSGO YouTuber in the gambling scene right now. And a couple days ago, I'll link his video down below for all of you. He did expose CSGO Boss and one of their co-owners, Jake, not actually uh, Mo TV, of course. It was actually a co-owner named Jake, otherwise known as Groot on Steam. He actually exposed him for going on several coin flips on his own website with a bot account to win some money back. So obviously many of you guys know owning a gambling website does have its expenses. You can make a lot of money, but of course you're spending a lot of money on, on sponsorships with Mo TV and Juicy. Other big YouTubers were sponsored by CSGO Boss. So allegedly, and actually has several proofs, I really encourage you guys, if you don't believe me here, to watch his full video down below exposing Jake for actually going on some of his own coin flips with a bot account to win some money back. So allegedly alongside that, guys, some crappy management issues here. Of course, CSGO Boss, Lord Helix also accuses them and actually proves that several of their moderators who have been working for the website were never paid and once they actually asked to be paid, they were actually blocked from the website itself. So crappy management, guys, some very selfish management. And this also led, if you guys don't believe any of this as well, this also led MoTV to step down from his ownership role. So if you guys really did not believe that happening, I really don't think that MoTV would step down for no reason. There's definitely some shady stuff going down there and also some crappy management as well and ownership of the website. So thanks to, actually, congrats to MoTV for getting away from that while he still could. That was probably a really good move on his part. He definitely can have other sponsorships out there that are not so crappy. So uh, as of right now, guys, I would advise you not to use CSGO Bob. The, web, the website uh, seems to be a bit shady and I really wouldn't trust it as of right now. On top of that though, why I'm talking about MoTV, he's also included in our second story today because a couple days ago he actually was apparently stream sniped during a rank S match. Yes, we actually had the French player Amanek. He's currently a player for the pro team known as Misfits, that North American lineup. He's one of their French players. And accordingly, according to MoTV and several other pro players out there, and again, I'll show you guys the clips here shortly, he was actually stream sniping MoTV while playing against him in a rank S match. So again, pretty much a serious accusation. We We've had this happen in the past several times and it almost always these players are eventually caught by some small mishap and here is the small mishap he actually had now allegedly as of right now it was Amanek but he was playing alongside other players like Jason R and also Polo but here is Polo's stream where he heard in the comms this weird thing that sounded just like MoTV's stream so I'll play this clip a couple times for you guys right now. One life behind. It's saturated. Did you just watch the stream? Did anyone see that? One life behind. Did you just watch the stream? Did anyone see that? So as of right now, you can never really 100% prove these kind of things. Mo TV obviously had his take on, on Twitter as well about this. I really tend to actually lean towards believing him that it was some player on that team, most likely Amanek. Amanek, as of right now, has been active on Twitter a few days ago, but didn't say anything about this instance. Also, Jason R never posted about this as well. I'm uh, really kind of curious why these guys didn't come out and defend their, their teammate or their, their rank S teammate, that is. We did have Sick, though, Misfits teammate of Amanek. He came out on Twitter and said some, some things that could be taken controversially. The first tweet as you guys can see right here he said it was not Amanek and then future uh, in the future uh, a few minutes later he actually contradicted himself by saying well I'm not completely sure but I'm 99% sure and that's the one thing people are actually kind of bouncing off about of course you tend to believe you these big spot these big viewer numbers these big people like Mo TV you tend to believe their opinion but when you have sick his own teammate saying yes it was not him and then definitively saying that one second and then a minute later he said well I'm pretty sure it wasn't him. That kind of contradiction really kind of throws things in people's head. As of right now, of course, we cannot 100% prove this, guys, but if you are rank S stream sniping, you eventually will get caught. And even if you're not gonna get caught, what a dirty thing to do. Either you're a pro player who can play legitly, or you're just gonna, it just, it seems really like a weird weird situation to be Amnek in and wise, and especially if you're gonna see these pro players at LAN in the future, gonna be a weird confrontation if MoTV ever sees you. And also, very importantly, for all you Brazilian fans out there, specifically for the Immortals situation, we did have Noah Winston, the founder and CEO of the Immortals organization, post a very, very good video. I'll link it down below for all of you. If you want a summary of all that's happened in the past month so far with KNG, Henny, and Lucas, he wrapped it all up into a six minute video and a great response here. He really made sure to stress, I'll give you guys a quick summary as well. He made sure to stress really the, the ideals of the organization for Immortals is not to win. They want to follow the rules. They want to actually be respectful and KNG could not follow those rules and therefore he confirmed KNG is out of the Immortals organization. He has actually been, he has left the roster itself and he's out of the organization altogether. But Henny and Lucas have actually requested them shortly after to be benched indefinitely.
indefinitely unless they want to come back to play. They, they actually can. But as of right now, he's going to be wait, waiting for other organizations to buy those players out. And he also confirmed the sad truth that, yes, those three players, if they go somewhere else, will have the major spot. So I highly encourage you guys to watch that video. A great response from Noah Winston there on the whole Immortal situation. Now, on top of that, we also had some very, very sad news. We've seen in the past few months the decrease of Virtus Pro really ever since last year in early 2016. These guys have had little to no success. And I know a lot of you guys are Virtus Pro fans out there, but it's been very sad to see that the amount of times they went out of group stages or quarterfinals, even if they make quarterfinals, even then it's almost the best of one luck. As of right now, they played E-League Premier this past weekend and they got destroyed by two teams where a year ago you would have said there would have been no contest. Virtus Pro would have won standout. And actually they were the ones who were getting beat brutally in these games. They first lost to Envious in a best of one matchup. They got beat brutally there. And they actually got swept by NIP as well, 2-0, in a not really close series there as well. And afterwards, we had shortly, of course, Thorne taking to Twitter. He had some tweets to say about this. And of course, we've had so many things going on about this whole Virtus Pro salary instance. Of course, they're all making around $25,000 a month. People saying the team is complacent. A few of the guys have been married. A few of them have kids. Of course, it's going to take away from their CSGO gameplay. My overall thoughts right now is I really don't know what to think about this roster. If you would have asked me a year ago where these guys would have been. I would have said up, up, and above. They could have been an SK Gaming of 2017, but as of right now, we have yet to see them really make it out of group stages and really perform to their best. And I have to say, I think a roster change might be coming soon, but of course you have the problem here. Virtus Pro signing these $5 million contracts in total five years for each of these players. That's going to be a struggle. Watching one of these guys sit on the bench, and they're probably going to enjoy it as they can sit on the bench and still make just as much as anyone else who's going to be trying to play. I really think there's a big issue with Virtus Pro. How, do, how can you fix it? I really couldn't tell you guys, but there's definitely issue going on there and this past weekend really kind of was a sum defining uh, activity of that you know this last weekend really proved that to me up until then I really thought maybe they're gonna come back sometime out of nowhere but losing to envious being swept by NIP really kind of dignified the fact these guys either need changes I'm not sure I really don't know leave a comment down below what do you guys think that Virtus Pro needs to do who needs to be replaced what can Virtus Pro do in the Polish scene what Polish player can actually replace any of these guys and bring this team up to a place where they really feel like they, they actually need to win something because as of right now it feels like they are complacent they're actually satisfied with making 25k a month and I guess who wouldn't be right and on top of this guy's very last story I, I just want to point out some random tweets out there that I think are very curious and we actually had Zeus tweet out this early this morning my time yeah that's a that's a picture of, of a I think I assume a naked a naked girl girlfriend and he just says Zeus time hashtag Zeus life I really thought this was weird I, what, what do you guys think about that I mean sick all right I'll see you guys tomorrow with more CSGO news. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did,